Hey guys, it's Bree. Um, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. I tried to film this and I was really red, and then I tried again and I was really yellow, and now I'm really blue. Like, tonally, not emotionally. <laughs> um, October is a really exciting month. I am really looking forward to it. Part of the reason, of course, is Halloween. Um, but also, there are two major SFF releases that are coming out in October. Can you name them? Can you name them? They're definitely Empire Ascendant by Cameron Hurley and um, Ancillary Mercy by Anne Leckie. <laughs> I was really lucky because I got an e-arc of Empire Ascendant. Um, I was really surprised, but really excited about it, <laughs> which is kind of funny for me um, because I wasn't a terribly big fan of the Mirror Empire the first time around. Um, the Mirror Empire is the first book in Cameron Hurley's Worldbreaker saga. It's a, a combination of kind of a quest story and a court intrigue story, all with sentient plant life and mirror universes and craziness. Um, <laughs> mirror Empire is a really detailed book. Um, if you've read Mirror Empire, you know that. It's really ridiculously detailed. Um, and there's a lot going on. It's a multiple perspective story and there are something like six or seven characters in the first book alone. Um, so it's it's 500 pages. It comes with like a 20 page glossary and a huge map. Um, and you need these when you're reading them, which is funny because oftentimes you get a glossary and a map and you kind of don't really need them. Like they're there and they're cool, but it doesn't actually add to the story a ton. In the Mirror Empire and Empire Ascendant, you need them. <laughs> um, so. I reread Mirror Empire before I read Empire Ascendant, um, and I was really glad that I did for a couple of reasons. One, I felt a lot better about the story the second time I read it. I felt like I caught more detail the second time around, and things where I, I had felt upset because I felt like something was missing, a lot of those things were actually in here, it's just that it was 500 pages of craziness, and so I didn't catch everything. Um, and on top of that, I think the first time through I wasn't in the right headspace for it. The second time was a much better read, and so when I went into Empire Ascendant, I I was like gung-ho, I was prepared for it. Um, so my first piece of advice is that if you're going to read Empire Ascendant, you should certainly either have just read or reread or get your hands on a wiki page. Um, for the Mirror Empire. There's so much in this first book that if you're not savvy about what's going to happen or what happened in the first one, I think it's going to be a lot harder to read the second. Um, the first one is hard enough kind of to read on its own. It's hard to keep straight. Um, but I wouldn't even try the second without at least looking up a wiki page on it. Um, so Empire Ascendant picks up where the Mirror Empire leaves off. Um, I'm going to give some kind of broad spoilers here, so if you haven't read the Mirror Empire, I'm going to link to some really awesome reviews of it. Um, and then go watch those reviews, and go read it, and then come back. Empire Ascendant picks up where the Mirror Empire leaves off. Um, so Assuming that you have read it, we're kind of still dealing with the aftermath of finding out about the mirror world. Um, Zezeli is still kind of trying to figure out how she feels as far as her loyalties now that she kind of knows what she knows. Lilia is coming into her powers and trying to like make her world okay while defending it from an outside force, and the Kai is just like, oh my god, I didn't want this. I didn't want to lead in this kind of situation, right? Um, 
So it, it's a tense beginning to say the least and Hurley is aware of that and she, you know, she's, she doesn't let us down by, by softening the blow of those things for us. And she is not terribly nice to her characters from the get-go. Um, the first book has her characters do some kind of shady things. And Hurley is like, yeah, you did some shady things. Here are the, here's the aftermath of what you just did. Or you did some things that are morally right, but are going to lead you to have the kind of crappy consequences, and here's what they are. Um, so we, we get tossed into the deep end from the very beginning. So there were a couple of things that I really liked about Empire Ascendant. Um, first, Cameron Hurley continues to have a really detailed story. Um, and on top of that, she, I think, really improves on the story by giving us these answers to world building questions that weren't in the first book. Um, one of my big problems with the Mirror Empire is I felt like I was getting so much information, but it wasn't information either that I needed for the story or that I wanted, right? So I, I left and I didn't really feel like I understood how their magic system works or why the universes were kind of structured the way they were. I, I had a lot of questions and I didn't, I didn't know if they were actually going to be answered. Um, and Hurley, you know, she doesn't come right out and answer your questions in an info dump way. Um, but the answers to why the magic system is a particular way or why, you know, why the Mirror Empire Kai is doing what she's doing, those answers are in the book. And they're done in a way that it's not info dumpy, but it's not withheld, if that makes sense. So you're not waiting, waiting, and waiting for those answers, but she's not giving them to you all at once. She kind of feeds them to you slowly, and I liked that. I especially like that I understood by the end of the second book why I didn't get those answers in the first book and why some information is still being withheld from me. Um, and that's because the questions that I'm asking now are questions that I, I think are going to be pivotal in the next book to the resolution of the plot. Hurley does a lot of character building in the first book. She really gives some vivid detail into who her characters are and why they respond the way that they do to certain situations. Um, I really liked that Hurley doesn't hold back from some of the things that her characters have done. Um, so they're, the decisions that they make in the first book have consequences in the second. And some of those things fundamentally change who our characters are and we see them have to struggle with the choices that they've made. I also really like that she takes the time to add in perspectives that round out the story. Um, so for instance, we get an idea, we get a couple of perspectives from the Timora, who are the attacking force. So the, it's not just like there's this big, bad, scary army coming and we don't know why, right? She really takes the time to humanize all of the characters and all of the sides of her story, and I like that. It seems to me that a lot of times series lose energy over time, and I feel like this one isn't doing that, that it's it's getting better as it goes along. Um, you know, for me, like, some of the choppy pacing from the first book totally solved. Some of the, you know, the world-building questions mostly answered. Um, you know, and, and there's some weird stuff in the book that I, you know, maybe didn't need to be there, but overall, I felt really positively coming out of this. I, th I think if you're, you're about to start this book, one, go and reread the first one, or wiki it, or make sure that you remember what's going on, because if you don't, I think it's really easy to get lost. Um, Two, be prepared for some craziness. Um, there's some really trippy stuff that happens in this second book. Um, and some of it I felt like it was kind of out of the blue, but there's some weird but cool stuff that happens, I guess is maybe how I'd say it. 
Um, and, and be prepared to still have questions. Like, I still have a lot of questions. I still have things where, like, I didn't see a person doing something. I didn't expect them to do this. And I know that Hurley's going to walk me through that later. But I'm a, like, I, I have questions about how we went from A to C, you know? Um, so just be prepared. You're going to have your questions answered, but you're also going to have more questions. Um, overall, I really, really like this book. I'm feeling really good about this series going forward, whereas after the first book, I just wasn't as sure. I would be interested, because Empire Ascendant hasn't come out yet, to know what kind of questions you had after reading The Mirror Empire, what you wanted to know, what you feel like has to be explained for you to understand the story better. Um, because I know I had a lot of questions. I'd be interested to know if you are pre-ordering, buying from a store, or, you know, putting it on hold at the library. That's always something that I find to be a really good, like, litmus test for how the fandom feels about a certain story. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.